time of the occurrence of an epileptic seizure after stroke is important in order to establish the correct therapy and to treat patients um, according to guidelines. The seizures which uh, occur within the first seven days after the stroke onset are called um, acute symptomatic seizures. So symptomatic seizures which do not, or early seizures, which do not lead to epilepsy as a disease. The seizures which occur after uh, seven days post-stroke, they um, are considered to be the cause of already happened epileptogenesis of their um, brain tissue so that these patients develop epilepsy as a disease. So there is a difference between symptomatic uh, seizures and epilepsy and the cut off is seven days. Everything within the first seven days are early seizures, symptomatic seizures. And beyond this time period, it is thought that uh, the scar tissue after stroke have acquired epileptogenic properties. So the patients have to be treated against epilepsy continuously. According to current guidelines, patients uh, with symptomatic seizures do not uh, necessary need anti-epileptic therapy. It can be um, established if patients have a very bad seizure or they have a series of seizures or the seizure have led to the drop of oxygen. In this case, um, the epileptic medication, anti-epileptic medication can be established but should be discontinued in the, in the further uh, course of the treatments. It is very important because if patients who have only symptomatic seizures uh, will, uh, will still continue the medication um, on a long-term basis, there is no indication for it. So they have uh, more disadvantages because of side effects and the amount of uh, medication that we have to take. In case of um, epileptic seizures, which occur after the seven day um, time period, uh, there is an indication for continuous anti-seizure therapy. And, um, and um, now there are not many data which differentiate between different agents. So um, patients are treated according to uh, normal epilepsy guidelines. So we have, for example, the data from Senate 2 study where lamotrigine was uh, quite prominent in this um, in the indication um, to start monotherapy in uh, in a in a symptomatic, in, in, a, in epilepsy, in a structural epilepsy, uh, so that the most um, physicians would, I guess, start to treat this type of um, epilepsy with lamotrigin according to the gui guidelines for the treatment of uh, epilepsy uh, disease as uh, generally. Um, in the same time, we do need data to find out which specific anti-seizure medications could be helpful for the treatment of post-stroke epilepsy. And I, I believe that our working group uh, made some progress in the acquisition of this knowledge. So we will find out that apparently um, agents uh, working via the slow inactivation of sodium channel could be um, helpful, could be more effective than um, other um, mechanism of action. But these results are coming from observational studies should be uh, should be investigated more thoroughly in randomized controlled trials.